Okay, so let's move on to the episodes page. Thinking about this, an episode doesn't exist without a podcast. So I think the design should reflect that. So we are going to pretty much make the design the same, except it's basically going to look as if it's one level deeper. And we're going to do that through use of the breadcrumbs. And then um, we're going to make the episode content a little different. Um, but we're still going to keep all of this content on the page. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Option Command C. And I'm going to make the height of this document, uh, let's say it's 3578 right now, let's make it uh, 5000. And then I'm going to hit this top arrow so it grows from the bottom instead of from the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all of this content right here. And then let's move it down so we have room to work with. Perfect. Okay, so next, the breadcrumb. Let's uh, zoom in on this. So let's edit this. Say, let's get the title, scroll down, why you should charge more from day one. That's the first title. So I'll give some space and then paste in that title as well. Actually, I will just type it so it matches the font styling. Why you should charge from day one. Okay, so now uh, we have a link to the podcast back to all the episodes of the Rocket Ship podcast, and it shows that we are on this episode page. Okay, so let's refer back to the wireframe. Zoom in a bit. So uh, to differentiate it, we are going to uh, center the content of the episode and then have the loop of the episode be the same as the episode page or as the podcast page. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and create that. Go back to Photoshop. I'm just going to duplicate this. All right, so the type or the image, let's bring up the guides. Let's make sure that's centered, which it looks good to me. Uh, the title, let's uh, go ahead and center that text and then Center it like so, beautiful. And then we went ahead and cropped this. Um, I'm going to uh, just use this. Let's use the first two columns. And I'm just going to copy and paste this a few times. That way we have enough content to, uh, to illustrate what it uh, potentially would look like and let's center that as well. Um, I'm not quite liking that. Let's uh, bring it in on both sides a bit by holding uh, the option and dragging. Perfect. All right, so now let's uh, bring it up to group it visually with the uh, title. That looks good. Now let's uh, grab the line and bring it all the way out to separate it. That looks pretty good. And then let's uh, drop it down so we have room for the MP3 player. Okay, so let's uh, start designing the MP3 player. I'm just going to grab a shape uh, with rounded corners and let's bring up our guides again. I'm just going to drag a shape. Uh, so this isn't gonna be perfect, but I will get it close and then we will make sure to uh, clean it up in the code. So the fill, let's make it the color of uh, these buttons, the highlight color, and then let's remove the stroke. And then let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, so next we need a, a few icons. Uh, I'm gonna use an icon set uh, called Entypo, which is uh, available for free um, just for this mockup. Uh, when we get into the code, we are going to use uh, Font Awesome for our icons. But for now, I'm just going to use this so we can get something close. So we got a play button. Let's add that there. And then uh, I'm also going to use a uh, volume button. So I'm just going to grab this uh, sound icon for now. Uh, I don't really particularly like this one, but it will uh, do for the time being. Uh, this is just a mock-up, so uh, when we get into the code, I'll tweak it all. 
Okay, so we need a play button. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller and then change the color. I'm going to double click and do a color overlay and then change it to a white and then move it down slightly. That looks good. Now let's uh, grab another rectangle tool. Actually, you know what? I will just uh, select this one, duplicate it uh, and shrink it down. And let's uh, change the color to uh, something a bit darker. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm not liking the radius on this. So let's uh, bump that up so it's a, there we go, it's a half circle. I'm liking that. Let's make this an actual button. So what I'm gonna do is make a line or grab the line tool and draw it up and then let's change the color of it to white that looks good so now we have a separate button we'll have the uh, play progress uh, let's shorten this a bit we also want the time so i'm going to just type out let's say zero 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 Drag on top. Let's change it to a white color. That looks awesome. And then the volume. Let's shrink it down. Uh, let's add the same color overlay. I'm going to hold option and click on the effects and drag it to this layer. That looks good. And then for the sound, we'll want to be able to turn it up and down. So I'm going to make a sound bar and let's make it a little smaller to match. And then let's change the color of it to a white. Uh, and we also want it to show the full width. So what I'm going to do is if you have it like 50%, let's uh, make the background uh, the same color as the progress bar and then the top one we will whoops we'll just shrink down like so that looks good so maybe make it slightly taller there we go that looks pretty great uh, i think the entire thing's a little too big uh, so i'm going to grab everything and shrink it down slightly And then we want to make sure it's centered, which it is. So that looks great. Okay, so next, uh, if we are on the current page, we should not show that within the loop. So I'm gonna grab this, uh, delete that. Then I'm going to grab the others uh, and the pagination. Just select all of those. And then I'm gonna just scale it up or bring it up. And then let's uh, hit C to crop and bring the canvas up. Okay, so this looks good. It's got some, it's got a nice visual hierarchy. You can tell that um, this is different compared to the podcast page, um, as if you were one level deeper, uh, as indicated by the breadcrumbs. So this is uh, really great. Let's uh, move on now to the uh, dashboard page.